Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, please do not forget to subscribe and like, and of course share. It's been reported that Miss Quara surged ahead of Chidima in the Miss Nigerian pageant of votes, and I'm really excited for the girls and seeing how Miss Nigerian pageantry is getting such momentum. However, if the South Africans are trying to use Miss Quara to weaponize the Miss Nigeria pageantry and thinking if she gets to the universal, the Miss Universe stage that she won't be picked, that they are, they are, they are up to something. And I think this is another case for the bolt and um, the same issue that we had with the boat rides um, between South Africans and Nigeria. And I think Nigerians should wake up to this. And not just because Miss Quara is not beautiful, because I think she's beautiful, but I think that she's been weaponized against Nigeria. And it's unfortunate for Miss Quara, but, and I, I really appreciate her. And she's beautiful, she's talented, and her cause is just incredible. But this is fishy. And I just wish that Africans would back off. I just wanted to talk about the fact that South Africans who were roiling and complaining quite vociferously about Chidima being a Nigerian and being a criminal and not worthy of participating in the South African pageantry, now all of a sudden want to support Miss Quara. I am really looking at this with such a huge side eye and asking myself why would South Africans who called Chidima um, ugly and a non-representative of South Africa because she was dark skinned and didn't look South African apparently to some of them is all of a sudden supporting Miss Quara. Are they trying to tell us that Miss Quara looks like the typical Nigerian? <laughs> if they know nothing about Nigeria, they should say so. Because one thing about Nigerians, we all look very much unique. If you go to the north, they look completely different from the southerners. And the westerners look completely different from the easterners. So all of this hype for Miss Quara is really quite um, devious in my view. But then again, why? Why? Why should I worry? Miss Quara is also a representative of Nigeria. And I would be very happy if she won. And I want the best person, or whomever get the most votes to win. I don't want the South Africans to use Miss Quara as their bait to messing up the Nigerian, um, Miss Nigerian pageantry. I think that's really what concerns me the most. Otherwise, I'm happy that Miss Nigerian pageantry is getting all of this hype and publicity Thanks to Chidima, Miss Nigerian Panjatri is probably being known all over the world now than it ever was. So, I mean, yes, everyone is entitled to vote, but don't weaponize your vote. Vote because you really want to support the girls. If they are so determined not to vote for Chidima, then they should all vote for all the girls, not just Miss Quara. That will tell me that they are not weaponizing her, like I said. It's disrespectful to her and it's dis disrespectful to the pageantry. That's all I have to say on this matter. And I just hope that both countries um, get back to the real business, which is how to keep the countries safe, the economy, education. Uh, because so far, both countries are very lacking. Please leave your comments below on what you think about this certain surge of South Africans supporting Miss Quara and please don't forget to subscribe like and share and of course I want to hear from both sides um, it's not really about taking sides it's really about what matters most that people are afforded some dignity and allowed to thrive despite the obstacles I do not see why a Nigerian cannot succeed in South Africa and a South African succeed in Nigeria First and foremost, we're Africans, and that's how the world sees us. It doesn't matter if we are Afri South African, Nigerian, Mozambican, it doesn't really matter to them. So it shouldn't matter to us either. Thank you everyone for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Ta!